Those stories in just a moment, but we begin with breaking news we've been following for hours now. A traffic nightmare on the East Texas Freeway after a seven vehicle crash involving a lumber truck. It happened a little before five o'clock this evening, and as you can see from our Transtar cameras, crews are still working to clear the debris. Several lanes are blocked off. Yeah, the accident scattered pieces of wood everywhere, creating an absolute mess for commuters. Our Brittany Jeffers is near the scene and joins us live. Brittany, how, how are things looking right now? Well, we've been out here for hours. As you mentioned, crews still cleaning up. I can report that one lane still closed tonight. It did check in with HPD, and some good news in all of this is that nobody was injured in the crash this afternoon, but I did speak with some drivers who tell me that it took them hours just to get home. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. I think we did about two miles and 45 minutes an hour, maybe. Brake lights for miles as traffic crawled. It was pretty slow going the entire time. It was crazy. The northbound lanes of the East Tex Freeway at North Park Drive shut down during rush hour because of splintered lumber all along the road. HPD says the crash involved an 18 wheeler that lost its load and six other vehicles. From the air, Sky 2 passed the tow trucks and a two by four that pierced a truck windshield. No one was hurt, but many were faced with major delays or a detour. I took 1960 to get to Westlake Houston, thinking it would be faster, but everybody had the same idea, so uh, I was stuck in that traffic for almost two hours. People don't know how to drive in this. There's no courtesy. There's no anything. Amy Potter says it tested her patience. She had to pull over and take a break because even when the mess is cleared, her drive isn't over. Considering we still got another 70 miles to go to get home and we've been on the road for two and a half hours it only takes two hours to get home. So again, HPD says no injuries today, but this crash is under investigation. We are live in Kingwood tonight. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Quite